you state the Quran doesn't love, Allah doesn't love the sinners, and you find it very difficult to accept that, right? So, can you give me one reason for what actions does the sinners do that God should approve of their sin? That He should love them? Why should God love the sinner for their sinful action? Give me the reason. He should love everyone, shouldn't He? No, no. Give us the reason why God should love the sinner for their sinful action. <laughs> No, for the action, action, remember action. We are talking about why does God, Allah, like does reason. not love the rapist, the evildoers, the oppressors. It is to do with their actions. Exactly. Love here is related to the actions. actions. So that means Allah does not approve the actions of That's right. a liar, a deceiver, That's right. an oppressor, yeah. a rapist, and so right. on. Are you saying God should love a liar for their lying? A rapist for the rape, an oppressor for the oppression. I'm That's right. just saying a loving God hates the sin but loves the That's sinner. what we no. believe. And address the Quran statement, address the point that I made. Islam is are not you, based on the Quran. Brother, it's are you idea. suggesting, are you suggesting that God should love the sinner for their sins, the rapist for their rape? Is that what you're suggesting? That God should love the Hitler for killing of the Jews? God should love the Serbian Christians for massacring the Muslim man. Are you, you suggesting can, can you that? Does, does God love them? That God provided in the Bible a way to reconcile with him. You see how you're yes. now conflating the issue and, you're, you're and moving away? Redundant. You're being redundant. You're, you're just repeating the same you're, rhetoric. You're not answering. He, instead of ad you're instead you're of addressing the point, the question. now, brother, we want to we want to all understand this. Are you suggesting as a Christian, God should love? A rapist for their rape. Can you answer that? But the way you ask the question is wrong. Don't okay, let me rephrase the question then. Let me rephrase. Because you say my question is wrong, then allow me to rephrase my question. Allow me to Does God love, according to your belief, a murderer when they commit murder? God always loves whether he can lead you to salvation. That's a different question. See, now you're not addressing the if question at all. Does God love Hitler? You'd say yes. Next question would be, why does God love Hitler? For the crimes of killing the Jews or for something else? Because Hitler is his creation, just like you and I. Okay. Does God love Satan? And why does God love Satan? If God loves Satan, why does he love Satan, according to your belief? This is going down the road. Do you know why you are uncomfortable to answer these questions? Because you have no answer. I tell you what the Do you have an answer? No, listen. I okay. See, I, I would no. like all of us to understand this no, collectively. Sorry. Do your God love Satan? And for what reason does God love Satan? We are all listening. Please, no one talk. Go ahead. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Cop out. <laughs>